some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we found ourselves out in the middle of Texas where a sovereign citizen has just been pulled over for speeding and he tries to make himself look clever, but he only ends up by getting himself into a ticket. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Yes, sir. Hey, good morning, sir. And with the Texas Highway Patrol, now your stop today because your speed was confirmed over the speed limit back there. Let's see your license and your insurance, please. Uh, so you're saying I violated some sort of transportation code? Yes, sir. Speeding. Okay. Uh, I need to see your driver's license and your insurance, please, and we can talk. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm letting you know that I, I'm not here in a commercial capacity. Okay. Uh, I'm not carrying people for a fee, mm -hmm. and I'm not... Uh, carrying any cargo for a fee okay uh, I'm actually just traveling right so those laws are actually for commercial reasons interesting that you should say that because I just read the uh, Texas statutes on speeding and they don't say anything about it being exclusively for commercial purposes maybe you should go back and uh, read them again only this time without your soft hard glasses on not for personal reasons, not for... Okay, sir, yeah. I, I just need to see your driver's license and proof of insurance for the vehicle, okay? Okay. I, I don't... There's not a crime that's been committed. And here comes the no victim, no crime section of the script. Uh, that never works because you know what? You don't have to have a victim to commit a crime. Even a simple traffic infraction is considered a crime, albeit a very minor one and not very significant. It can still be considered a crime, so therefore you don't need a victim for there to be a crime. So yes, sir. The uh, speed uh, limit here is 65 and your right, speed those, was those, confirmed over the speed limit. Okay. You're oh. traveling on a public roadway. Okay. Again, that is... Um, make sure we're recording this. Uh, that is for, there you go, that is for a commercial vehicle. I'm not a commercial vehicle. Those okay. speed limits are set for commercial vehicles. Okay. Yeah. So, Can, am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Okay. I need to see your driver's license. Am I license. under arrest? Technically, this is an arrest. You're okay. not, you are not being okay. placed under if arrest I'm, and going to jail. Okay. If I, if this sir, is a custodial sir, arrest. This listen. is a custodial arrest, right? Okay. What, what's, uh, what, what department are you with? Texas Department of Public Safety. Okay. What's, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Trooper Taylor. Trooper Taylor. Yes, sir. Trooper Taylor. Yes, sir. Okay. Am I under arrest? Is this a custodial arrest? Yes. Okay. Can you go ahead and read me my Miranda rights, please? My Miranda warnings. You said I'm under arrest. Okay. That's the law. Is that now, now I want you to give me my Miranda warnings. For what reason? Because you said I'm under arrest. That's right. Like I said, it's a traffic so, arrest. It's a traffic stop. Okay. Okay. But the law doesn't differentiate whether it's traffic or, or murder. Okay. If I'm under arrest, then you are required to give me my Miranda rights. Go ahead and give me my Miranda rights. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and read him his rights for shits and giggles, but he's still going to get the ticket out of this. I mean, at this point, all he's doing is stalling for as much time as he can get. Is evidence against you in court. You have the right to have a lawyer present to it before and during any questioning by peace officers or attorneys representing the state. If you are too poor to hire a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed by the court to advise you before and during any questioning. You have the right to terminate this interview at any time. Now, I need to see your driver's license and your proof of insurance for the vehicle. Okay, so you said I have the right to remain silent, correct? Right. You don't okay. have to say anything. I right. just I, I need to see your if, driver's license and your right. insurance. Anything anything I say can and be used against me in a court of law. Is right. that correct? If I give you my driver's license mm -hmm. and I give you proof of insurance, you can use that against me in a court of law. So why would I want to give that to you? I'm going to go ahead and exercise. Because it is required by law. No. Oh, once again, you are flat out wrong. That's two for two. You're not doing very well, dude. In fact, here's the penal code for it, and you are subject to a fine of $200 for not presenting your ID to the officer at the traffic stop. Congratulations, you are a winner of the Stupidity Award. Do you have anything you wish to say now? I have the right to remain silent, correct? <laughs> you just said I, anything I say can be used against me. 
Right. So if I give you something, it can be used against me. Okay. Right. Why would I give you something that can be used because against me? You, you told me that. Law. No, you told me that was a right. I have the right. So I'm gonna right. exercise my right to remain silent. I want my attorney since I'm under arrest. Okay. And I am going to exercise the fact that I can't give you anything because you can use that against me. Where the hell in the Miranda warning does it say anything about what you just said? It is all about what you say, not the fact that you have to turn over your license and registration over the officer, which is Texas law, you bloody moron. I'm not trying to use anything against you. Well, you could, but you could is the thing. You want to read those Miranda rights again? Sir, to operate a vehicle on the roadway, you are required to have your driver's license, okay? Sir? And you're required to if follow I'm the speed under, limit. If I'm, uh, if I'm operating under a commercial reason, okay? Not if I am just traveling. I told you I am just traveling in my pr private conveyance. So okay. th that law does not apply to me. So now you don't have probable cause anymore. Yes, am I free I to have, go? No, you are not free to go. Okay. Man, this officer is being way too patient with this moronic softard. But you know what? The officer ends up looking at his uh, records and finds that he does have a driver's license and does issue him the ticket. So the sovereign citizen doesn't exactly win this issue either. But I'll tell you what he should win. He should win a trip back to elementary school to get re-educated on basic material. Just recall your supervisor right here because you obviously don't understand the law. Sir. You just read me my Miranda rights. Okay. Okay. Listen, I need your driver's license and proof of insurance. The faster we do that, the faster we can both get out of here. <laughs> Sir? Sir? Mm-hmm. I, 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 think, I think we're very clear on this. You read my Miranda rights. You want to read them again? No, sir. Okay. So... I am not going to answer any questions. I'm going to remain silent. That's fine. I, I cannot give you anything because if I give you something that you can use that against me in a court of law. Okay. Do you understand that? Sir. Do, do you understand that? Understand what? That if I give you something, you can use that against me in a court of law. Why would I give you something? Because it's required by law. Okay. I. You broke the law. You were traveling at a speed okay. greater if than I'm the speed If I'm under limit. arrest, I'll be glad to ID. Okay, let me see some identification. I, I can only, I give you a verbal ID. Okay, let's do that. Okay, if you say I'm under arrest, then I'll, I'll give you a verbal ID. I don't see how I could be under arrest when I haven't broken okay. the law. What's your verbal ID? Okay, first name is Edward. That's E-D-W-A-R-D? Correct. Okay, so do you have a driver's license? Sir, I'm gonna exercise my right not to answer any questions. Okay. Uh, just as you read my Miranda right. Do you have proof of financial responsibility for the vehicle? I'm I'm going to exercise my right not to answer any questions. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what we got. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, sir. Am I free to go? No. Okay. All right. So, do you have any suspensions, any warrants on your license right now? Sir, I'm going to exercise my right not to answer any questions. Okay. All right, sir. Well, here's the deal. Back there at FM 523, your speed was confirmed at 92 miles per hour. Okay? Speed limit here is 65. So you are going to receive a citation for your speed today, okay? Uh, do you have insurance for the truck? Sir, again. Okay, I'll you, check you, it on my you're side. You're Just hang on one second. You can just sign here on the X and sign in here. It's not a plea of guilt. It's a promise to make contact with the court. You're going to make contact with Judge Davis here in Angleton on or before February 6th. Right. Can I see that? Yes, sir. Sir, I, I disagree with this. Okay. You're not going to sign it? Uh, I, I like my attorney now since I'm under arrest. Okay, so are you gonna sign this or no? I would like my attorney, sir. Okay. All right, sir. Well, this has all your information on it and what you need to do to be able to contact Judge Davis, okay? There's a phone number and an address on there, okay? All right, sir. Well, just be safe driving, okay? And slow it down a little bit. 
Well, now, this lead paint drinking sovereign citizen didn't seem to have the intelligence to be able to understand the difference between a detainment and a arrest. Oh, maybe somebody should buy this guy a uh, dictionary that's uh, for somebody in a grade no higher than, let's say, third grade. Because that's certainly where he needs to go back to if he's going to be this stupid. So that's the end of the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.